Hi, my name is Mark Pugh. I lead Rediscover Church in Exeter. It's my joy just to speak to you for a couple of minutes. I'm actually sat in the car um, where I, the reason I'm sitting in the car outside my house is because we went to start it after a week of inactivity and the battery was completely flat. So I've just jump started it and I have to sit in here for the next 20 minutes or so while the battery recharges. And I was just thinking just how the nation is going to need a church that's fully charged in the season that's ahead. We've made lots of adaptions as the church in the last few months. Lots of activities been moving online. Devotions like this have been featured online. Uh, meetings have been around digital forms. And it's so easy to concentrate on the things that we do. But actually, who are we? And what's empowering us? And where are we getting our strength from? And how charged are we for the season that's ahead? Wouldn't it be um, just a real pity, more than a pity, it'd be a disaster for the nation if when this lockdown ends, the batteries of the church are flat? I love the promise in the scripture that says, they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up on wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. In the book of Hebrews, it says, let us run with endurance. That endurance is just such an important word for the months ahead. I believe God has purposed and positioned the people of God to run, but to do so with great strength, great empowerment from on high. As we step into the weeks ahead that we remember the birth of the church, the anniversary of the birth of the church on Pentecost on the 31st of May, it's important for us to remember that Jesus didn't ask his disciples to do anything that wasn't empowered from on high. In fact, he told the disciples not to run on ahead of the Spirit, not to just carry out the things that he had done, but to wait to be empowered. You and I we need that empowerment from on high. We need to know the Holy Spirit filling us and empowering us so that we can run with endurance. You know, that scripture I quoted, that they will wait upon the Lord. I've often thought about that as sitting around, and there's a time for that, to wait expectantly. But I remember sitting in a restaurant many years ago and seeing this brilliant waiter that was serving the tables. And I suddenly saw that verse in a new light. They that wait upon the Lord, those that serve the Lord, those that attend to the things he's asking of them, they will renew their strength. And I pray that as we listen, as we hear, as we understand what the Lord is asking of each of us, that we will be a church that's not got a flat battery, but a church that's empowered for the season that God is bringing us into. May God bless you richly as you weigh this up and as you allow the Spirit of the Lord to fill your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you.